Well hey there again everybody welcome back to another tutorial as you can see we will be doing Outback Steakhouse I hope that you all enjoy this build and tutorial if you do please drop a like down below thank you all for watching now let's get this started Well hey there again everybody welcome back to another tutorial as always if you do like this build and video please drop a like and comment down below. I'm on the PS4 using the modern HD texture pack if you do not have the same blocks as I use that's okay just try to match the colors up close as possible. I'm basing this build off of a real life place here in real life. Now there are several different designs of this Outback Steakhouse in real life. There's some that's a little bit modern, some that's real old style. I'm kind of basing mine off of a little bit here in between. Now the main blocks I'll be using in this build are going to be these right here. So I'm going to have the gray terracotta, so this kind of brownish cream color, and then a light cream color here. This is the light gray terracotta. Also strip jungle log as you see here if you have to try to use some sort of uh, brown brick if you really have to but this is just try to stick close as possible uh, here's mossy cobblestone here is red sandstone we'll be using uh, that and also red sandstone wall now the doors I'll be using are the spruce doors in this texture pack they're they're uh, glass doors for the front doors now the back door we'll just use iron doors we'll also be using the mossy cobblestone wall just make sure that it matches this whatever you're gonna be using also we're gonna be using the gray stained glass panes uh, I like this because it's got the black around it and that's how it is in real life and also the granite wall because it's black all right now once you've got all that set out and ready to go then you gotta have your plot size and let's go right over here I have it all sized up for you here so it's gonna be 53 by 44 all right so looking straight down at it as you see I got it all measured in using that structure block as a tape measure so 53 by 44 that's including the two block wide sidewalk across the front and left side and across the back all right so let's go ahead and start this build all right right here is going to be the front main entrance Right here is going to be a side entrance. And then we're going to have a back door right here. So just trying to uh, situate this. That way you guys have it all planned out. Which way you're going to be facing this. So we're going to go to the front here. Left side right here. We're going to start with this block here. The gray terracotta. Alright. On this corner we're going to have a total of one two three four five blocks going on crossed and then we're gonna have the strip jungle log is what I'm gonna be using coming down two blocks and going to the right it's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine blocks and then go back one like that now with the glass I'm using here, uh, I've just got it marked for now. We'll go back and put the actual glass we're going to be using. We're not going to be using this. I'm just marking it for now. So two blocks in, glass block, space between, and two blocks from there, glass block. So three glass blocks there just to mark it. All right. Now right here, again, create terracotta. One. Two, three, four, five. 
and then we're gonna have this brick block here again the mossy cobblestone coming down one two three and then one two three right here like I said it's gonna be main entrance I have the light gray wool mark this here glass block and this here glass block so four blocks there here's gonna be the same shape with the mossy cobblestone three this way and three back alright now again marking this with the glass and having the light gray wool up under we're gonna have one two three four of the light gray wool up under that glass and then we're gonna have a single red sandstone right here now when you place this in here it's going to be level with the the light gray wool all right now turning this way here you're gonna have light gray wool one two three four and then right here you're gonna have a space for a doorway so just for now mark these three glass all right now with the mossy cobblestone one two three four five and now with the gray terracotta turning this way here you have one two three four five Turn this way here, cutting this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. I'm gonna go ahead and mark these glass blocks here. So from here, one, two, three, four. Number five will be a glass block. Space, glass block, space, glass block having one two three four on the right side all right now here you're gonna go back three blocks here here you're gonna have one two three four five and six all right now with the strip jungle log as you see here they are directional blocks so keep that in mind so coming off of here you're gonna have these three here it's a three by three so go ahead and do that now right in the middle of this as you see we got the mossy cobblestone turned this way here one two three four and five turn this way here one two three four and five you're gonna have a two block space in here for the back door again the light gray wool there and then here again one two three four five six turn this way here one two three four and five all right now along the back here you have great terracotta you see we're gonna come down two here and going on down is a little stretch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Nineteen with the gray terracotta. Alright. Now with the mossy cobblestone, you see we're gonna come down two there. And coming on across one, two, three four five six and seven 
turn it this way here counting this corner is one we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then you're gonna come back here all right now again the gray terracotta here coming off of that one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten Right now the strip jungle log, as you see here, it's going to come down by two blocks. Counting this is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. And as you see, coming back two blocks there. I'm gonna have these windows here, four windows as you can see here, three blocks per window, two blocks from that edge, space between each, and two blocks from this edge. Let's mark those out, we'll come back later. Alright, now right here, if you've done it right, this here will just end up right here where we first started off at. I have one, two, three, four, and five. Alright, now once you've got that, then now let's quickly go over the sidewalk. So let's go ahead and come to the front entrance here. We have these four blocks. Okay? I have the anisite and the stone here level with the parking lot three blocks one two three across there and I have it going step up even with this wall here these are two two slabs here of anisite and stone slab that goes on down to here and then goes back that way my flower bed here across the build is lined with the cobblestone slab right there and just going on down two blocks of grass there it's just bushes all right now going along this way the same thing going on down this corner and then when you get to this corner here this slab even with this corner is gonna go past it by one two three and then you're gonna go one and then these two here all right so hopefully that's easy for you and then this here is going to be four blocks here be one 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 and then a two by two right here and then all this is going to be that anisite and stone in here like as you see here at the back door and I got these two walls here just to keep traffic from hitting uh, up on the curb and stuff like that. So we got that going on there. And then we got the cobblestone slab off of here coming straight on down. And then we have one, two, three, four, five with that slab having this three blocks with the grass and that slab going straight on down up against this wall straight on down to here where the side door is and then this is one two three four blocks there going straight down and having this being four and this being two you got this design here on the on the corner 
and then as you see here we just got the slab coming on down to here and then right here we have the four walls so right here these two blocks being the entrance got these two blocks between and we got one here at the glass two blocks and then one here same thing for this side Well, all right now once you've got all that then now let's go ahead and come right over here to this corner where we first started off at and we're going to take this block here all the way across total of four blocks here so that's one two three and four so we got that four tall now we're going to take the light gray terracotta and we're going to go also four. So one, two, three, four. Right over here, same thing. One, two, three, and four. All right, now with this, remember they're directional blocks. So if you will just go straight up. You see how they go, the wood goes up and down. We need to go left and right. But this needs to go up nine blocks total, counting the bottom. So it's pretty much one block higher than what we got here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we got this being four. This being four, that's eight blocks tall. And then this is going to be one block higher, making that nine blocks tall. So you're going to make sure that your texture is going left and right like that. And you're going to bring this all the way across to here, all the way up the same height. Now your glass here, again, I'm using the great stained glass panes right in here. I'm going to go up one two three blocks tall with that All right now once you've got this here then now simply take this wall up the same way as what you've done right over here All right now once you've got this then now come right over here to your main entrance. I'm going to use the gray stained glass full blocks here and here. I'm going to come up a total of three. Come on across. Connect that up. Take my spruce stores and place in there. Alright, now I'm going to take this here. Straight up. When you get even with this, go one higher. That way it's even with this. You're going to take that all the way around the same height here, up and over the doors. All this here up the same height. All right, now once you've got that, then now let's move along right over here to this glass. I'm going to take the gray stained glass panes. Change these out here. One, two, three, four. These here as well. One, two, three. Go ahead and put one of these full blocks right here. Three blocks tall. Come up and over. You gotta have a doorway there. This here is going to come up just like this. And then here, the same thing. Three blocks tall. Alright. And once you've got that, then now grab your red sandstone wall. It's going to come up one, two, three, and four. Right here, up and over your glass just like that there 
and then you're going to take this glass again one two three there and then this here is going to come up one two three four blocks right there this glass here is going to come along here this is going to come straight up this is going to come on across this here will simply be filled in with this your glass will come in here so that's what you should have now now on this side you're pretty much going to do the same thing this is going to come on across you're going to bring this on up and then you're going to put in your glass in here All right, now once you've got that, then now you're going to come right here, grab this, this is going to be up 8 more blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, this should be level with this one here, leaving these two walls there. This is going to come on across and on down here. And that is simply going to be filled in. All right now simple enough. Once you've got that. This wall here will come straight on across. Leaving one block from the edge there. Just like that. Now on this side here. This wall will come straight on across. Again. One block from the edge there. And then this is going to be brought up as well. Alright, now I'll come right over here to the main entrance. Where we have this step up right here. We're going to take that slab out. Place in the mossy cobblestone, whatever you're using there. Place one right there. And then you're going to come right over here. Even with this, you're going to take one place it there all right and then you're gonna come right over here which will end up being right here you're gonna have a total of eight blocks from here between this one total of eight blocks from here between this one go ahead and take this connect that up all right and now go ahead and grab your granite slab. If you have a black half slab, this is what you're going to need. Go right above the door right here. This is going to come on across. Grab your mossy cobblestone wall. This is going to come up right here. One, two blocks. And then this is going to come right on top of that wall just like this. Alright. Now this is going to come on across. Like that and then you're going to do the same thing here so come up there this is going to come on across up against this wall here all right here you're going to have two of these walls simple enough this will go right on top of that wall there this is going to go ahead and be filled in this is going to come on across there like that and because this is not connecting there I'm gonna go ahead and grab this full block here put that in there like that that way that connects right there and I'm gonna end up doing it right here as well there we go that way this will connect straight up against there this is going to come up right there this is going to come on across just like that and then that will be filled in 
Alright, now once you've got that, then now go ahead and come down here. You're going to come out eight blocks between. It's going to end up being placed here where this door is. And then you're going to do the same thing, come up two blocks there to connect that up like that. Now, once you've got that, then this wall here, you're going to simply do the same thing with the gray terracotta and the light gray terracotta that we've done right over here. So you're going to add three there and then one, two, three, four there. That same pattern is going to come right on top of here, on around here and up to here. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. So let's bring that along there. And then these windows here, we're going to go ahead and grab this glass. And these are going to be three blocks tall on these windows. All right, now once you've got that, then now come right over here where you got this three by three and you're going to take this up eight more blocks. All right now once you've got this up like this here then now you're going to grab this and you're going to come straight on up one block lower than this come on across you're going to fill that there in. This is going to come across here. You're going to fill that in. You're going to place two iron doors right here. This is going to come on across here. To this corner. That will be filled in. You're going to come across to here. And this also will be filled in as well. Simple enough. Once you've got this, then now go ahead and grab your brick. You're going to place right here, even with this wall. And you're going to take the wall, one, two blocks, placing your granite slab here, going on across there, and then you're going to overlap it by one. Right here, when you get to here, just go one block there or one slab and then this here will come straight on down up against there and then this here will be filled in on this level what right, now this is what you should have there now, simple enough, on this wall, you're going to do the same thing as what we've been doing with the two colors. So you're going to add three more of those, and then one, two, three, four of those. That is going to come all the way around to here. Alright, that's going to be filled in. Now when you get to this corner here, this is going to come straight up and then one block higher. That's going to come around to here. Same height. And then you're going to do the same thing on this wall here. So again, add three and then one, two, three, four. That's going to come on down to there. Alright, now you should have this wall up just like this. This wrapped around. Simple enough. Alright, now once you've got this, then now you're going to go ahead and come down here. Grab this. And this is going to come on up. And you're going to come up one block higher than this. So it will be the same height as what you have on this one. Remember to grab these glass blocks here three blocks tall on those glass and do these four sets of windows right here with that alright now you should have this here 
Now I'm going to grab the red awning. And yes, you're probably wondering how I got this if you haven't been following my channel. I made a tutorial how to acquire these awnings. Go ahead and check it out. I'll link it down below in the description of this video. If you do not want these awnings, just simply take a full block of red or a half slab and just drag them on across above the windows. Well, I'm going to use these awnings here because I like how they look. These here will go straight on down. Again, the link will be down below in the description of this video. Alright, and then right over here as well. Just drag them right on across. And then there's another set right over here. Well, Alright, now grab your oak trap doors. You're going to place them right on top of the entire building all the way around. If you do not have these, just use carpet or a different type of trap door. But that will go all the way around the top of your building. The only place you're not going to place it is on top of your wall right here. Alright, now once you've got that all the way around the entire top of the building, this is what you should have. Alright, now come to your main entrance here. We're going to do this spot first. I'm going to take the deep slate tiles. I'm going to come right in here. Do two rows of that. And then I'm going to take the polished anisite. Come here. Take it on across. And come down another layer. Just like that. Alright, now once you've got that, go ahead and take this on back there. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to all the high points and do the same thing as what I just did there. So here's another high point here. You're simply going to do one row there, take the polished anisite. Go across and then do another here and then bring this one there, one there, just like that. Actually, I'm going to take this on across like that. That looks better. I'm going to do the same thing over here. All right. Now the same thing I just did right here. You're gonna do here on this high point. Here as well. And well, right here doesn't matter. Just go ahead and do this one and that one. Alright, now once you've got this, then now let's go ahead and finish this roof off. It's going to be on this level right here, but we have one little problem. If you bring this across, it's going to make this come out because that's a wall. To fix that, go ahead and grab this full block here, go across top of the window there bring this on across here just like that that actually looks pretty good so this here will be the level of the roof that you're going to do so go ahead and fill in your entire roof on that All right, now easy enough, once you have it all filled in, this is what you should have. Now don't forget to go ahead and put in some things up top here, as you see, just to make it look more realistic and not so bare. So AC units, ventilation vents, antennas, things like that. I got a couple of chimneys right here, as you see, with some smoke coming out. 
I have a tutorial on how to do that. I'll go ahead and link it down below. It's very simple. I only use one command block doing that. So if you want to have smoke coming out of your chimney, just go ahead and check the description below. All right, so now once we've got that, then now let's go ahead and come around to the front. Right now on the letters out back right here, I have a tutorial on banners. I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description of this video. You're going to write out back on white banners with red dye. You're going to place the banners on white concrete. Now right here on the front here, white concrete is one block from the top, one block from the side. You're going to do that right there across that front there. Also, right over here as well. The same exact way. Remember, I'll link a tutorial on banners that I've done. I'll link it down below in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. I also went ahead and put these walls across here. Again, two blocks apart along here. And then I just went ahead and brought them on down here. As you see, I went ahead and put in some lights. I used the crimson fence and the soul lanterns. Now right here on this one here, across here where the front entrance is, I have this coming down two blocks from the top and two blocks from the side there. One, two, three, four blocks apart. Now, this one here, I have two blocks from the top, two blocks from each side. I got one here as well, one here as well, the same spacing, the same placement, two here. I have three of them here, six blocks apart from the center, two blocks from the edge, two blocks from the top. I also went ahead and put one here as well and then these two right here. That's pretty much it. I hope that you all enjoyed this build and tutorial. Remember to leave a like and comment down below if you did like this video. Thank you all for watching. Please stay tuned for more. And right over here as you see I went ahead and put a dumpster pad in. You guys can do this if you want. I still have to put in some lights all around the parking lot to finish up the parking lot up. Again guys, if you do like this build, please let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.